A hearty good morning to all. From my English video course book, I'll tell you something today. So turn page number fifty-six. In a page number fifty-six, we have a joyful poem, "The Echoing Green." Before starting the poem, let us have some talkings about the green areas. or fields have you ever visited parks or playgrounds you'll cheer up and say yes ma'am isn't it in the morning or noon time few people could be seen in the park but as the evening arrives people from all sides start coming towards the parks or playgrounds to spend the pleasant evening the youngsters who are the nature lovers visit parks with their family members or their friends why to get the healthy surroundings fresh air beautiful and lovely scene of the nature and to get into it all right on the other hand when the family visits the parks or playgrounds the children enjoy playing while the grown ups love to have some physical exercise and the adults could be seen reading a book or a newspaper isn't it the echoing green is a descriptive poem in which the poet visualizes some children some elderly people spending a day outdoors it is a spring season and the people could be seen in their jolly mood he describes the various sights and sounds the poem begins in the morning and ends in the evening describing how a day progresses the poem also reflects the level of excitement of the people outdoor and how it changes through the day okay now step into the poem welcome back to the poem the echoing green the poem has 3 stanzas and each stanza is divided into 10 lines the first stanza as childhood the second stanza as youth and the third stanza as old age and death so Let's start from the first stanza. In the first stanza, a typical morning scene is described where the whole world comes to life as the sun rises. The rising sun makes the sky happy. The sound of bells welcomes the spring. It seems that the birds sing and the bells add the music thus the opening of the day brings full of joy on the echoing green come to the second stanza in the second stanza the poet talks about some elder people watching the children at play and reminiscing about their own childhood the poet says that sitting under the oak tree old john observes the actions and playing steps of all the girls and boys and remembers his life when he was young now come to the third stanza in the third stanza the poet finally talks about the evening and how everyone is tired and eager to rest the younger children 
become tired very fast and the speed of playing decreases too. The sun is moving downwards and the little children due to their weariness slowly slowly keep their heads on their mother's laps. The birds had returned back to the nest and no sports or game would be visualized on the darkening green now. Thank you.